Thank you, Mahi. Esteemed uh, guests on the dais and off the dais, dear faculty members and very, very dear students. How many of you were birth before after 73? How many? See, even I join you. <laughs> so, they all are like father figure, not just to the department, not just to the discipline, but also to the university. And they are the precious treasure that this department has to take good care of. They all have got enormous wisdom, not just professional, but also of life. And that needs to be transferred and I heartily appreciate the efforts of Professor Nisha, Head Department of Chemistry, for taking this initiative. A lot of departments in the industry are now gearing up for this alumni activity. And because I have been talking about uh, engaging with alumni and making it formal. So I believe the Department of Chemistry also must be having a, an alumni cell. Get that registered. And when we interact with alumni, we do look up to them with lots of hopes and expectations. This is a, a university which is indeed intellectually very, very rich. But at the same time, this industry also is a financially staffed institution. Now such institutions can flourish only with the contribution that comes from different stakeholders and alumni form a very, very important part of it. There are several departments in which lot of initiatives have been undertaken by alumni. Recently, uh, an alumni from the Department of Biochemistry met me and offered me some contribution with respect to augmenting certain physical infrastructure. Some people are already contributing for strengthening of the lab facility. There are people who are giving uh, books to the library. So there are a variety of ways in which these connects can be established and strengthened. Having said this, it is all not always the money that is that forms part of the contribution. That is just one of the part of contribution. What I find very interesting with respect to Alumni Connect of Department of Chemistry is the way alumni are coming and taking lectures. So there is an alumni lecture series going on. By revamping the entire curriculum in compliance with National Education Policy 2020, I had asked all the head of departments, the then head of department, to provide for 10% of the course to be taught essentially by alumni. Now see, if a say PG course is of 4 credit, meaning 40 hours in a semester, 10% is 4 class in a semester. So in a 6 month semester, only 4 classes are to be taken. So for example, there is an expert in physical chemistry. If, and Lucknow being at the center, it is not very difficult uh, to manage those resources. Now, either you come two days and take two lecture seats for two days, maybe on some Saturday, Sunday. Maybe one person can come on one Sunday and take four hours class. This, on one hand, provides a practitioner's perspective, a different perspective that comes along with the same set of faculty members who the student may otherwise contact also. But at the same time, this also bridges that faculty deficiency. Now say for example, we have a total sanctioned strength of 500. We have at, at this university 513. And if we are deprived of 51 faculty member, this gap can be bridged by these 10% cost coverage by these faculty members, alumni. So I, uh, Professor Mishra is very rightly and very uh, aptly taking care of this. Uh, though this department uh, does not, I believe, has any faculty deficiency anymore. But uh, this is one way of interacting, of engaging, and taking the uh, students to the wisdom that these very, very senior people, highly professionally acclaimed people, are there to give them. 
But having said this, I again would like to draw your attention to the fact that this is more like a classroom than a seminar hall. So, if at all, one specific facility may be augmented by contribution from alumni, which would not cost you much. So, such specific initiatives, maybe creation of a lab or maybe uh, augmenting the facilities of, of, of some uh, this seminar or, or any other such facility, would highly be appreciated not just by the students, faculty, but different sections of society and also motivate them to come forward and help the institution grow. We, on behalf of university and also on my own behalf, I welcome you all to this university. Make a round uh, of, take a round of the campus and you can compare the facilities that were there at your time, that are there now. You can suggest us what can be done. Certainly the number of schools might have grown uh, exceptionally, especially from the time you were a student here. But then, there were several facilities that the university, given the resource constraint that we operate in, we have tried to. And you can always suggest us uh, so that it strengthens the image of the university and the cause of education. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate the organizers and I hope for a very, very positive outcome of this alumni. Thank you very much.